Welcome back. We're here with Julian and Donald Scanlon in the Sex Kitchen. Donald, you're whipping up the perfect Christmas brunch. Yes, way ahead of Christmas. I know we're kind of a little bit away we ahead of Christmas, but you've got to plan ahead, absolutely. And when it comes we to could Christmas have done Day. this in September. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, now, now I have the Christmas jumper on, it feels right. Yeah, exactly. and it looks great. Are you, you not thanks, roasted Martin. in thanks, that? Oh, I'm absolutely want. sweating my <laughs> ass off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm fine, you I'm fine, serene. I'm fine. Um, this is a beautiful recipe to make for Christmas Day, or you could do it for uh, Box Day, Stevens Day, whatever you're doing. Um, very simple. It's waffles with leftover ham if you have it. Uh, cheese board, if you have any leftovers, stick them in as well because it's going to be Gorgeous. funky and tasty and lovely and salty. Okay. So to make up our waffle batter, we have uh, we have our flour. So our flour goes into a, uh, into your bowl. Now the key thing here is it's a no-fuss recipe, so literally everything goes into and the bowl. And these are waffles for a mon. These a are mon, waffles mon, for a mon. mon. Absolutely. They're weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> well, I, did, I should have brought my, my, uh, my other one. It's a lovely little heart-shaped one, but I thought we'd go hard. We'd go big. Come on. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So you need a big feed. You've got to go with a big feed for Christmas. So uh, we've got our flour in there. We're doing really well. Uh, we're going to go in with some eggs. And like I said, it all goes into the one pot, uh, one bowl. So you don't have to worry about um, mixing this. Normally, I have another recipe where you um, separate your eggs and you whisk up your egg whites, which give you lovely, like, oh, lighter nice results. Fluffy. But because we're kind of sinking this with a little bit of ham and a little bit of cheese, you don't have to worry so much on, about it's it. It's Christmas. It's yeah. Christmas yeah. after all. Put it all in. Put it all in. You've got to go for it. You've got to yeah. go for it. Uh, so to, uh, for a little bit of rise, we've got some baking powder going in there. And like I said, we're not fussing here. It's all going in. A little bit of salt and pepper because it is a savoury uh, savory waffle mixture. Mm. Um, and literally all you're going to do is twist that up until you have a rough batter. Now, this is the beauty of this recipe. Once you have a savoury waffle recipe under your belt, you can do with it whatever you fancy. Like I said, we're going ham and uh, we're going ham and cheese. But if there's Brussels sprouts, stick them in there. Roast really? potatoes. No, not really. No, oh. don't do that. Brussels no, don't sprouts. Do that. <laughs> No, don't, don't do that. No, don't do that. But, but no, you could use put put a bit of leftover turkey in. But I would leave it. Like, it up. I would add bacon, but I would never think of waffles as being savoury in the same way you might do a savoury crap. I know, and I think that's the thing is that we're kind of we're dancing between um, somewhat sweet and savoury here, and this is basically a take on a nice um, eggs benedict. So we've got yeah. a hollandaise oh, cool. sauce, we've got yeah. our spinach, and we've got a very fabulous, simple but fabulous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So you're gonna pop in there with your uh, your cheese, a nice uh, grated Irish cheddar in here and then a little bit of that ham as well now whisk that up and you have a savory batter that actually goes really well with a bit of aromatics in the form of some thyme leaves in there as well so pop them in you've got great things going on in your batter and get this into a waffle maker even if you wanted and you don't have a waffle maker this goes beautifully in uh, baked off or cooked off as pancakes as well so many oh, many okay, options okay. so once you have your batter looking like that it's pretty much it can actually be made up in advance you can stick that in the fridge if you wanted to do um, and then we're gonna pop it into a waffle maker Watch your fingers now, Julian. This is very hot stuff <laughs> over here. Okay. But you have a beautiful waffle that is pretty much ready to go. Um, and like I said, this will go, go for any waffle maker you have. They're weapons um, of mass destruction, <laughs> those waffles. They take out your eye if you have kids who would throw them across the room. Whole so, so how much of, of the mix, mixture should go in there? So you're so only you've got the right about, amount. Yeah, so only about two tablespoons. What I do is start slow and add a tablespoon at a time. And you want it to kind of spread out so that it doesn't overflow. I've had this overflow. Uh, Julian okay. was sitting over there and was worried he was watching it overflow as this was happening, but it all worked out in the end. Now, once you have your waffles done, it's all about building your dish, because they okay. look, like you said, hockey pucks at this Absolutely. point. So, <laughs> so we have to bring it. Well, I would hate what you'd say about this if this was coming up on UTV now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Be cutting. So what we're going to do now is build it. So I have poached off some eggs. Now, a top trick if you are doing uh, oh, eggs lovely. for Christmas is to make sure that you can do them in advance. So it's a great little tip. Now, we are talking, I'm, I'm an ambassador for Team Green for Repack at the okay. minute. Um, so we're talking about all plastics going in the recycle bin. Um, so really handy, especially coming up to uh, Christmas. I know people are going to have wrapping paper. They're going to have plastics. They're yeah. going to have hard plastics. But all the plastics can now but go in the recycle bin. We and that's wouldn't the have recycled that. No, that's we wouldn't thing. have. That's yeah. the thing. It we, can we, all we go in there. in the general waste. Exactly. Now, now, very quickly, poaching eggs, because I think it's something that scares Give the us living the Jesus out of everybody. Absolutely. Okay? You're telling now, me. What I'm not going to do one now, because I'm gonna, it'll go all over the place. Oh, but, you scared <laughs> It's my TV. Do you want me to do it? I'll do it. No problem, no problem. Up, okay, yeah. we'll stick up the temperature. So, top tips. Vinegar, salt, that's going to help you uh, coagulate the egg white on the outside. Um, 
the key here is not to swirl. Everyone goes for yeah, the big really? dramatic swirl. Forget that nonsense. The beauty of this little method is going to allow you to do multiple poached eggs at a time. So, so don't do the old Don't do the thing. swirl. Just make sure you have really, really fresh eggs. That is absolutely key. So you want to be buying your eggs on Christmas Eve for this uh, oh, okay. poaching. Oh, right. And do you leave them at room temperature or in the fridge? Uh, well, room temperature. Okay. Uh, only in America do you have to put it in the fridge because yeah. there's, there's some chemical ones. Most people do, but you don't have to. Leave them out. Absolutely okay. no need right. to. So, uh, All bring the up... time leave them out. Yeah. yeah. Don't put what them do in you the do fridge? with your eggs? Where do you keep your eggs, Julian? In the fridge. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> give us a little From dish today, to put no. them in. That is true. Yeah. You're yeah. dead right. I only have to throw one of those out the other day. Okay, so bring up your temperature. You don't need a rolling boil here. You just want a nice, gentle simmer. Now, it does always look scary. Martin's put his glasses on now. That means he's really concentrating on what's going on here. I'm focused. Okay, so top tip, if you are very nervous about this, pop your egg into a bowl. It means that you get closer mm. to the water and it'll allow it to kind of coagulate very quickly. Okay. What we're all going to do is just pop it in and it does have a tendency, as you can see, to just kind of go into this snotty yes. mess see, that in the bottom. Me. It's like something out of Quater Mass. <laughs> I, I don't want your description <laughs> of this, all right? <laughs> but what you're going to do is just gently, gently bring that egg white. And that's exactly what I've done for these ones here. Now, what do you do? You kind of coax the white towards the yolk. Gently Caress. bring it in. Caress. 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 Oh, yes. Caressing. On yes. Top of, not even before Christmas and everything. Yeah. Now, these ones have done exactly that. All I've done as they've come out is pop them onto a, a slotted spoon like this. Take a knife or take something sharp or a spoon like this and just scrape off the edges. Yeah. It'll exactly. sharpen nice. them up. It'll make them look good. And when you have your poached eggs, if you want to do this in advance, the great thing is they can come from the fridge straight into hot water like this. You're going to bring them back up to temperature and you have all your poached eggs done and dusted. Okay. You're just reheating them at this point. And they need to go in for how long? They are, can, oh, they are only going to take about 30 seconds, just until Look. they re reheat through, basically. But the water has to be boiling, of course. The water has to be yeah. simmering to oh, this point, simmering, yes. right. So we're going to pop on um, uh, some nice sautéed spinach. I've, all I've done is pop a bag of spinach with some, uh, with some butter and basically cooked it out until it's nice and soft. You know what spinach is yeah. like in oh, these yes. sorts of scenarios. It goes to nothing. Um, our poached egg goes on top literally straight out of the water and on top and nice and hot at this point and the finishing touch the piastre de resistance is a little bit of hollandaise sauce now you can make this if you want by all means eggs butter go for it or, or you can just buy a jar or just buy a jar come <laughs> on like Make it easy for yourself. You've got to make it's your life easy around Christmas. Now, what I would say is sometimes it's a bit boring. So spike it with some lemon juice. Spike it with a bit of tarragon. is absolutely okay. gorgeous. Salt and pepper it up, but make sure it tastes good. Um, a little bit of lemon juice here as well. Hollandaise over the top of this and, like, poached eggs, okay. spinach. Gorgeous things happening here. All you got to do now is just oh. to the table and everybody's well, you're, you're finishing that off. Yeah. Lots of great comments yeah. coming in, right, Julian. Right. People love you and miss you off the TV. Oh, God, but love them. But they can them. still have a little bit of Julian. Oh, in their lives, oh, yes. Oh, you're available. Irish yes. There's a company called Irishify, and there's a lot of sports personalities and comedians and things on it, and Zed, and Zed Lister, myself. <laughs> <laughs> and people can request you or me to do birthday, to do message. birthday messages, wedding anniversaries, messages to anything. And it's irishfly.com. I'm going to have to say goodbye to everyone. We could talk to you all night and we do watch it. And we will. But that is all the time we <laughs> have. Uh, thank you yes, to all absolutely. of our guests. Uh, thank you to Julian. So thank you to there. Donald for the waffles. <laughs> I'm not even listening to me anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs>